can see her bush. Like, that is just so disgusting. Like, y'all need to get together. Hey, you think about that? I don't think because she was coming out of the blood drops or whatever. But do you think about it? Godric came back. Godric had his clothes on. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, and then that's another thing. I was asking was Eric a medium? Because, okay, even before this little stuff, he could see Godric. My thing was, vampires are dead. They don't have a soul. Yeah, right? Right. I mean, so how can he see? See, that's, that's one of those little holes. And, like, certain things just don't. I don't understand it. Like, somebody was saying, then Eric has Cookie's house, like, remodeled and stuff. So how did they find that throw under the floorboard? Well, I was like, well, maybe he just remodeled the bottom where he needs to put that little cubby hole underground. I don't know. You know? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he just tore up all them boards. Look, yeah. That's kind of, you know, I don't look at it that way. I'm like you say, he just need to build a little extension on it so he can hide down there or whatever. Right, I don't think he kind of redid the whole thing. That that was my thing. I don't know. And like the whole last year mom story, I thought. And shout out to Alfie Wood because I would never think she would even sign up to play anything in True Blood or that character at all. I don't know why. Um, but I just think her storyline could be more. She entertaining as hell. You know what I'm saying? Every time we see her on, like Tara Mama, I could never see her again and be happy. Like every time she on screen, she aggravates. Me. Like, it's just, ugh. Well, I don't see, like them. That's sound of a good character because if, if if that character make you hate them, that mean the actor did, the actress or actor did their job. Well, that's true. And that's very true. You're right. That is very, very true. And then, um, all right, which, to you, which was the best season? Ooh. Ooh. Um, I'm going to have to say the best season. Woo. Marianne was second season, right? Yeah. It's going to have to be out of seasons one and two. One, because one had me so wrapped up in it. Like, the first season had me so wrapped up. But sec- uh, second season, that's the season I'm going with. Second season was the best <laughs> uh, You like me Mar- too. <laughs> I said Marianne second season. Marianne had them going crazy. Like, second season. Then, shout out to Ed, because he was fine. So, second season was everything for me. Like, I love second season. That's the best season. I like True Blood, but I like True Blood, you know, but then second season made me a fan. <laughs> I, right, I got exactly. Seasons. It made you like, ah, you know, is that your favorite season? Uh, hands down. I mean, none of them compete with season two to me. None of them at all. Like, last season had to piss me off with that time loop. I ain't even enjoyed last season like I usually do. See, I hated the third season. Third season, I hated third. I mean, the werewolf thing was horrible, horrible. I hated the third season. Yeah, you're right. Who's your favorite character? It was. I like Bill. I still roll with Bill, but I like Bill. I do too, but Bill is just lost. I don't know what the hell wrong with Bill. Uh, it's a couple. I like Bill. I like Lafayette, and I like Andy. Andy, my dude. Oh, Andy. <laughs> No, no. I'm glad he off that beat. I'm glad he beat that yeah. because I didn't like him on the beat. I didn't like that that he was on that. I didn't I didn't enjoy that. So I don't like you know one of my least favorite characters is Holly. Like I don't know why she's there. She should have <laughs> went with the whole witch war and they and people be calling her a witch. I'm like, do y'all remember what she did in the whole witch war? She poured some salt. Like she didn't do it. She has done nothing. Yeah, the whole be. time she's just been like an extra and they're trying to bring her out and have her with Andy like I'm just over her instead of moving Hoy out the, out the bone phone they need to move her ass like, <laughs> I'm just over her but R.I.P. to the corner because he has been around since the first season and they <laughs> killed him off like how effed up is that you understand yeah. like, I mean even his little small parts he was always funny and just like Ginger. You know what I'm saying? Ginger, we have to have her at least one episode screaming every single season. If we do not, I would be upset. <laughs> so, oh, what about the speculation that uh, um that pregnant fairy is, um that baby's Andy's? I, I really do think it's Andy's. And I said on my review, um, Andy and that scene with Holly of them eating, I didn't understand it. A lot of people was like, 
Well, True Blood wants to show you how normal their lives were because Morella is going to, that's the theory's name, Morella is going to come and like add turmoil to their life with that baby. But I'm thinking, them theories don't even want to be a part of the human world, so why would she even come to Andy with this bull? You know what I'm saying? Why would she even, why would she even make a baby with a human? Like, why do you want to have human half faith? Like, you can have full theory, I'm thinking. I would guess. I mean, I don't know. It was something about that. There's a reason behind that because, um, Cause they were saying like some of the well I knew the males they were saying um they were, um Sigma was saying so I come from a race of uh, rapists because they said some of the fairies would come and I guess like glamour human beings and have sex with them uh-huh. and she was saying some said oh I come from a tribe of rapists and some she said like that because she said sometimes against their will the ladies explaining them to them the fairy thing to them and I was like so I don't know they get, they got some kind of infatuation with human beings I don't all those supernaturals do they need something to do with humans. I don't know. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I tell you, I was, I'm shocked to stay around as a uh, Luna. I thought they were gonna kill her off a long time ago. I yeah, I'm done with her. Like I'm, I'm so done with Luna. Like she aggravates me everything. Like this whole scene when she was mad about Emma, like she pissed me off. I was like, ew. Like why is she still here? Why? <laughs> like I didn't think she was gonna be around as long, and I don't think I've ever seen like a Luna fan. You know what I'm saying? Like people like, yay Luna, like I don't think nobody checking for her. <laughs> what about I'll see the man? Oh my goodness. He and we been missing the past few episodes, well, this last episode. But I mean, I'm feeling him, but then I'm not because he didn't even want he never wanted to be a part of the pack. He always been a long wolf. Now he's talking about he's been absurd and he gotta move away. You never wanna be a part of the pack no way. Stay your little self in bon talk. Why are you doing the whole, like, I don't know. So, that blew me. Yeah, because I think he's coming <laughs> back. Like, he coming back to fight old good boy again, I think. He even do something. <laughs> uh, it's only I mean, like running a story to use him. I don't know what they're doing, but it's getting whack. <laughs> Like I said, I, I mean, I've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. They had a couple of, uh, like when, uh, Roman. I hate they killed Roman so soon. That sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just a lot of people that sometimes you, like Molly, they didn't, shouldn't even kill her. She could have been like a little, she could have lasted until at least the end of the season. Um, who else? Well, I mean, yeah, poor Detective Stable, like, he, and they hyped him up for the season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, the act he gonna be on there, and I mean, he made it what five, six episodes. That was it. Cause at first I thought, well, maybe he ain't dead. Cause remember, he turned to when he first staked them and the show went off. He didn't turn to a pile of goo. He was like, oh, still yelling. Right. So I thought he was just gonna keep him around and be punking him or something. But then, like the next episode, he's like a pile of goo. So I'm like, oh yeah, he got him. <laughs> oh yeah, he was out of there. He was out of there. That bothered me. Like you said, man, you're going to make this big hype over this actor coming there, and then y'all just kill him all so quick. I didn't. I know, and if I was him, I wouldn't put that role. I'm like, look, can I have something else? I need, I need a show. I'm, look, the last show I was on lasted like 85 seasons. Y'all, I'm about to kill me off in five episodes. Then before know? that, he was on Oz, so. Right, like, oh, I forgot about Oz. Yes, he was, and that lasted for a while. I'm like, you know what? I need to call somebody because that's some crap. Then, uh, let's see. Yo, because I love the first one. It seems are getting good to me is when he snatched that little kid up and staked him. Oh, man. That's what I thought. Okay, this I season good. I did not expect them to do that. I did not expect them to do that. I, was, I mean, just, but you know what? It's a lot of what they do that I don't expect. Like, some of the sex scenes, like the sex scene with Eric and Nora, I had to, like, cover my eyes. I was like, wow. Wow. <laughs> Graphic, no, graphic. No. And then it freaked me out because how they was calling each other brother and sister. I understand they're not really brother and sister, but it's different. <laughs> no, the one everybody told me about was uh, I had a couple of comment about it uh, was uh, Bill and us. Uh, so whatever her name is Simone, Simone, Sal- Salome, Salome. Yeah, and he was biting on her and stuff. Yeah, I, I'm just over Bill. Bill, man. I don't even want to talk about Bill. <laughs> <laughs> He just makes me upset. I don't know what's wrong with that man. All right, so what, you got any predictions or anything you think is going to happen at the end of the season? Um, I am going to predict 
predicted that Salome will die. Laura <laughs> will die. That, that's me wishing. Um, I think Tara and Pam will come to the rescue of Bill and Eric somehow. Maybe they'll, I don't know, something got to pop off. Something. Um, Russell won't die. I think Steve Newman will be around for a while. And that's another character that I actually like. Um, I think some people have me thinking that Warlow and Russell would get to like a battle and, Ro- and Warlow would be older than Russell and he would kill Russell. So I'm going to go with that one. I think that kind of makes sense because he have nobody to kill off. Um, Russell. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? And I, I'm going to throw this out there. I think Bill and Sookie will get back together. Maybe not this season, but somewhere in the future. I don't know, man. I, you know what? I think this is going to be one of those seasons that's going to end in like a a cliffhanger, kind of like when uh, I think it was the second season when Bill got kidnapped. Right. And we were like, oh, mm, yeah. Like nobody knew what happened. Yes. I believe that's going to happen too, man. Cause, but I don't believe anybody, none, none of them guys going to get killed in the authority. That's what I'm thinking. I think all of them going to be around. Really? And somebody says it's supposed to be like a war. And I can actually see that happening because there's too many people that need to get killed for a resolution to happen, you know. And I just I just can't see all them people dying. Like you said, uh, Salome got to die. Uh, something got to happen to the authority. They can't stay together as as is. And then yeah, Bill. Bill ain't going to stay a bad guy. That's, that's just... But who could ask? Who could? Because, see, I don't even know who... I think after Russell Salome is the oldest. Yeah, and he threw her around like she wasn't nothing because she tried to step to him. Exactly. <laughs> so think of what Eric like. I think Eric and Bill might have to play on Russell's side. I don't know what's gonna happen. To tell you the truth, like with True Blood, sometimes you can predict, and then just as soon you think you got to figure it out, you know. Well, like I, said, I would like to see Jessica get killed though, for real. <laughs> I would. I want to see her. Not, I mean, she ain't got to get steak. Maybe she could walk in the sun or something. I don't know. <laughs> she just needs to go. Because she, she aggravates. Like, she is not the way. I'm not feeling her at all. She can go. Who else can go? Holly. Uh, you she said Luna. <laughs> Luna. Yes, those three. Jessica, Holly, and Luna need to go. Boy. Along with Salome, Nora. <laughs> like, and you know what I think will happen? I think, like, this whole, like okay, vampires are gonna go crazy, right? So I think they kind of gonna have to go like in the coffin again, kind. I don't know. Like, how can they remain mainstream? Like, how is it gonna work? Like, how long is it gonna take to build another True Blood factory? Like, it man, I don't know what. Yeah, they gonna have to glamour the whole world. Yeah, <laughs> like you said, who gonna be able to beat Russell? Exactly. Like, who? There's not one person. Like, unless they can get Steve on their side, you know what I'm saying? And he could kill them. Because I think Steve is easily persuaded. Like, he a new vampire. You can control him easy. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. might he might come to, to the demise of Russell. Who knows? Nah, hey, I don't know, man, because Russell punked all of them. He said, what, what are y'all looking at? Y'all want to get killed? How about I kill all of y'all? <laughs> I was like, wow. Right. I'm holding <laughs> all of y'all from Bye. Like, damn. Man, Russell, I was like, man, Russell is a pimp, man. I love Russell, man. You These... gotta love Russell. But then again, we need him dead. We need him dead. And then when they went to that frat house, was playing, um, what was the song that, that, um, Katy Perry song? What was that? When they when that frat house, they killed them frat boys. Mooney said, I want to eat some Greek. I feel like you oh, Greek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, but see, that's what I'm saying. You see how he loves Steve? I think that's his new that is his mentality, so maybe they could get to see, I mean, get to Russell through Steve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll call that a day. It was a good discussion. We got it in. Hope the subs and the True Blood fans enjoyed us. Uh, one more time, uh, I'd like to thank Miss Brandley Lovely. Anything you got to say? Thank you, Mr. Guru. I appreciate you having me. All right, all right. We're going to see how this go. Well, um, people, y'all like it. We might be able to do this again one time for you. So we'll holler at you later. Oh, yeah. Peace. Bye. <laughs>